hello viewers and welcome to my channel today we're we'll going to talk about Huffman coding and let's see what this is Huffman coding is a compression method a compression by I mean that uh, we are trying to maybe send a message or information over the transmission medium to someone or maybe trying to store that in somewhere and this compression method does what that it actually reduces the number of bits we are trying to send or maybe trying to store in somewhere it's also a lossless data algorithm where our data that we're trying to send to a receiver is not getting lost in the way not a single bit is lost on the way and uh, the receiver will receive the exact message that we he's, he was supposed to get and it's, it is also can be defined as encoding because we will be using codes or to be more specific code words we'll be using uh, use these code words will actually help us reduce or compress the message and now let's see how many types are there there are two kinds of Huffman coding system. First one is fixed length code where we use fixed number of bits to compress our data. We'll see in a moment. And this video actually will cover the fixed length code. The next video will cover the variable length code. The next, as we have discussed and mentioned, variable length code is the next one which we'll discuss in the next video. Let's dive into the main thing. Suppose we have this information that you're watching on the screen. Just suppose we are trying to send over a transfer medium or store this message. Now, this message has, as you can see, 30 characters. 30 characters, and this whole message contains five types of characters, including A, B, C, D, and E alphabets. And all you have to know that each character, when we are trying to send or store in somewhere, each character is assigned 8 bits of data each character contains 8 bits of data to be represented so for 30 characters we need in total 8 times 30 240 bits we have to send this 240 bits if we are we sent the original message over our transfer medium and now we want to actually reduce this the number of bits here the 240 bits and then comes the compression method hence comes the half man to rescue <laughs> okay uh, skip the drama let's skip the drama and let's move on to the actual method the message you're seeing on the screen again we have six a characters six b characters again c characters are there six times six d characters and again six e characters so Total 240 bits represented by 6A, 6B, 6C, 6D, and 6E alphabets. Okay, now what we want to do actually, we, are, we will make a table for this and we'll map. We will map by mapping, I mean, we will use as an input these characters, we will use these characters as an input in our table like this, and we'll use how many times they are used in other words what's the frequency of each character as you can count there are six of them each in that message now we'll use zero just zero and one the zero and one binary bits to represent our code our code words which we will use to compress or encode our data okay so since this is a fixed length code we'll use three bit binary number since we have five characters i'll explain that to you in a moment why it's three bits suppose we will represent a with three bit binary zero 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 and the rest of the characters will be represented the same way like zero zero one for b zero one zero for c zero one one for d one zero zero for e now we'll map this code words into our mapping then then we will actually represent our message through this code words it will look like this if you can count 
the numbers the binary bits you'll see that there are 90 bits this is the message we're trying to send over the transmission medium or maybe trying to store in somewhere so this 90 bits we're getting from 240 bits but that's not enough because the receiver will not know which keyword is for which character so along with these bits we have to send we have to send the table as you can see so to send the table we have to count the bit numbers there are five characters a to e and each character contains eight bits as you know so eight times five 40 bits for five characters and the code words three bit binary numbers of five code words so five times three is 15 we have to add these numbers and we'll get 55 bits for the table we have to add the 55 bits for the table and with the 90 bits our message then in the compressed file we will have 145 bits instead of sending 240 bits of original message we can just send 145 bits 145 bits of compressed file so that the receiver will know how to decode that and receive the same message he is trying to receive and now as you can see that we have used three zeros for a while we can you could have used just a single zero and single zero one for b c d but there is e we have to use the code word for e is one zero zero that's why we are actually using three bit bin binary numbers for every characters three bit fixed number of bit numbers for every character since the code word length the number of bits in the code word is fixed that's why this system is called fixed length system in the Huffman coding now this is not actually efficient one the more efficient one is the variable length coding of Huffman which we'll see we'll see in the next video